So statin C is a small protein that is produced by all cells that contain a nucleus. In healthy people, it is produced and destroyed at a constant rate and is found in a variety of body fluids such as blood, spinal fluid, and breast milk. In healthy people, blood concentrations of cystatin C remain relatively constant throughout life. If kidney function declines, the blood concentration rises. Cystatin C is filtered out of the blood by the glomeruli, which are clusters of tiny blood vessels in the kidneys that allow water and dissolved substances and wastes to pass through their walls while retaining blood cells and larger proteins. What passes through the walls of the glomeruli forms a filtrate fluid. The kidneys reabsorb cystatin C, glucose and other substances from this fluid. The remaining fluid and wastes are carried to the bladder and excreted as urine. The reabsorbed cystatin C is broken down in the kidney cells and is not returned to the blood. The rate at which the filtrate fluid is formed is called the glomerular filtration rate which is an important determinant of kidney function. A decline in kidney function leads to a decrease in the GFR, so less cystatin C is cleared from the blood and the concentration rises. Concentrations of cystatin C vary little with sex, age or race and are not affected by most drugs, infections or diet. Rarely, high blood concentrations of cystatin C are the result of increased production by cells rather than a kidney problem, for example in people with an overactive thyroid, with some cancers or in people taking steroid medication, smoking and inflammation. Because cystatin C concentrations fluctuate with changes in GFR, the cystatin C test can be used to evaluate kidney function and estimate the GFR. Most commonly used markers to evaluate the kidney functions is creatinine, but that is changed due to muscle mass, gender, race, how much meat you eat. People with low or high muscle bulk evaluate the kidney function based on creatinine is not reliable. Urea is least reliable test to evaluate kidney function. It is affected by diet and many other diseases, but cystatin C is much less affected by these. When the kidneys are functioning normally, the concentration of cystatin C in the blood is stable, but as kidney function deteriorates, the concentration begins to rise, often before that of creatinine this increase occurs as the GFR falls and is usually detectable before a person has any symptoms of kidney disease. Some research suggesting that cystatin C returns to normal much more quickly than creatinine, therefore could be used to assess kidney function in critically ill patients recovering in hospital. Sample collection for cystatin C test. A blood sample is obtained by inserting a needle into a vein in your arm. No special patient's preparation prior to the sample collection. If you are interested in my video creation, like this video, feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.